this is the best chef let's make a biryani this is my grandma recipe organic raised chicken feed with a vegetable dye no animal by products no hormones no antibiotic caged free you are what you eat cut it into the famous six pieces cut in the pressure cooker two tablespoons of butter two tablespoons of olive oil oil is hot put the meat serving side down far from you move it so it doesn't stick the holy trinity of the Arabian kitchen cardamom clove and cinnamon obey it sear the chicken so when you serve it it looks great and beautiful look at this cover it with water skim the scum the scum is literally protein it's harmless Take all the meat out, strain the broth, cardamom, cloves and cinnamon, two cups of basmati rice. Time to add some salt. When cooking rice, it's a very good idea to let it boil in the beginning for 2-3 minutes. You reduce the heat and cover it with a lid and let it cook slowly. Add two tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of olive oil and yes, you can mix them. A whole onion to add the salt, it helps to get uh, the middle flavor between uh, sauteing and sooting. This is my top secret, the masala that my mothers make in Makkah. Only my mom knows how to do it, she inherited this from my grandma. Generous 4 tablespoons of the mix to the onion. Spices will burn in the oil. Now it's time to add some of that broth. One diced tomato. Cooking with yogurt is very famous and very central to the Indian cuisine. I'm gonna use some labne, this is a Lebanese or Turkish. Uh, sour cream. I want some sourness. After that, we put back the meat, we soak it, let it cover, so get the sourness, the saltiness, all the flavors, the spices. Two cups of rice. So I don't soak the rice, I don't wash the rice, I buy clean rice. Cover that with the broth. The most important, the most expensive uh, spice, the saffron. Here you go, that's good enough. And now it's time to start building the dish inside the pot. One tablespoon of butter one layer of the white rice we cooked in the beginning butter I throw inside which will help me to crisp the rice in the bottom and then I take out all the pieces of meat that layer of rice in the bottom will prevent my meat from burning next we add all the mix inside some more of the broth add some yogurt final layer of the white rice we cover the pot with a clean cotton towel and add the lid on top of that this will help me to soak all the extra moisture and make the rice fluffy once the rice is uh, fluffy um, that's a good indication that it's ready optional step if you have food coloring i like to do it this way because i can take some rice outside and mix it but this will give me a level of colors from orange to yellow and a clarified butter some raisin cumin walnut sunflower seed once the almond brown turn off the heat immediately 